Wow, man, that was a chess match. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, that was, it was a chess match. Uh -huh. That dude was tough as shit, man. Yeah. That motherfucker was tough. You guys knew that though throughout the whole fight? Oh, yeah, you guys yeah. Yeah. like I told everybody, like I told everybody that dude was going to was gonna be tough as shit. Kind of tricky. Sneaky with that right hand. And, uh, but they had a few of them, man. But he got the job done. That's what, what matters. What did you say about how you felt that 154 actually, actually performing now with the weight on him? What did you say about actually performing with the 154 weight on him? Oh, he was cool with it, man. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. Dude, do you think I was buzzed throughout the fight. Did he sustain any injuries? Is he physically okay? Said that Martin Hoffman won that fight. Of course, he the promoter. That's his regulation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he, 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 that's, his, that's his promoter. So, of course, he's going to say some shit like that. Now, go ahead. What you say? Any rematch in order? And how did Bud make it through the fight? Uh, we saw a little bit of a mouse over, over his right eye. We got, you know, got a great cut man. Got a great uh, uh, cut man, a doctor. Yeah, got a great, a great doctor uh, in the corner, Doctor uh, Brian, Brian Conward. Did an uh, excellent job on you know, on that eye. So it was cool. This is a big question. You guys now move up to Canelo. I mean, if the money's right, like you said, if the money's right, he'll go up there and uh, uh, do his thing. I, I believe I believe me and the coaches can put a game player plan together to beat his ass. Yeah. Do you think that? No, hell no. Shit. You see how Bud we'll push him around a little bit, we caught him in some good body shots and shit. We hurt him. We hurt him twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what would you say was the difficulty tonight? He was tough. The motherfucker was tough, man. The motherfucker had, and he had a chin on him too. What, what kind of adjustments you feel like you need to make to go up to sixty eight? Say again? What kind of adjustments would you need to make to go up to 68? Probably box a little bit more. Probably box a little bit more, you know. But towards the end, I told Bud, I said, hey, man, step to this motherfucker. You know, step to him to push him. Shit. But I don't know if you can do that with Canelo or not. He's big, strong. So we'll see. Did it take longer to gain the respect of the opponent than you guys than you guys thought? No, no, it didn't, man. He, he was... Imagine Muff was just being Imagine Muff, tough as fuck. Very disciplined, too. Right? Very disciplined. Yeah. Um, Bud came out with a sense of urgency in the 12th round. Did you guys feel like you oh, might yeah. be behind? Oh, yeah. on the I told board him he board needed this round. I told him he needed to run because I wanted to put the stamp on it. So I told him, hey, man, just the last two rounds, I said, hey, man, we, we got to work. We work a little harder. We got to push him a little bit more. So because, you know, you hear shit in the audience and like, oh, yeah, we might be down. Oh, that was a 10 8 round. You didn't hear, hear that shit, sir. Thank you, man. So you, you, know, you just push your fire, just try to push them to the edge. Are, are you guys open to a rematch? With uh, uh, the money's right, hell yeah. That motherfucker tough. Would you guys have a friend in Omaha again? Fuck yeah, what's the fuck we got to fight in Omaha? We need that Boot, six men. Boot Tennis was here tonight. Uh, Watching any chance that maybe you guys get together with Boot Tennis, you know the fans will be clamoring for that. Bring them to the table, don't bring them to the table. We'll bring them to the table. As far as belts or skills? Uh, he ain't did nothing yet. He, he, they handed him a title. And he defended it one time with somebody that we already knocked out. So don't bring that to the table. Well, there'll be people. But towards the end of his career, he need meaningful fights and shit. He don't need just be keep fighting Money and shit. Fights. Now, now if I had a, a, a twenty-two year old and shit, yeah, oh yeah, I throw him in there. I let him fight boots and shit with the skills that Terrence got. I put him in there. But Terrence is thirty-six, about to be thirty-seven, and you know he's almost done. We'll see you some fight that somebody that don't bring them to the table. No Last question Sir for me, Bo Mac, is man. we saw... Uh, no, he's done. No, he's done. <laughs> Tonight, Tiafimo Lopez walking around. Uh, your young soldier from Norfolk, Virginia, we saw walking around. Uh, Keyshawn Davis. Any chance or interest uh, in getting a fight with they him? Want, they don't want to know Keyshawn. Keyshawn's a dog. Tiafimo Lopez actually adamant in calling out Terrence Crawford, saying that that's his Man, dream fuck, match fuck, in reality fuck, season. Fuck Tiafimo Lopez. He don't bring shit to the table neither. Trash. He trash. He used to be good, but now he trash. You heard it first. Y'all put it out there. He trash. You trash. You straight trash, dog. I spoke to Eddie Hart in the dressing room. He said you were worried going into the the twelfth round. You told how you gonna know if I how you gonna know if I'm worried or not? Well, he he wasn't in the corner, was he? No, no. He, he so he's just saying shit. Worried and he's just saying shit. Did, did you think the fight was closer than maybe the No, no, no. I thought I thought the fight went. Well, I think it was nine. 
I think it was 93. It was 93. It felt like it. if there was more than 12 rounds, we think Aaron Crawford would be more dominating. I think he probably would have stopped it because he was slowing his ass down. Right, right. And body shots was killing him. Asimov didn't throw one body shot. Did y'all see it? Let's see a body shot. See all the body shots. Oh, Eddie also said that he'd like to see the bridge. And it's fight. It's not a fight that you would welcome. Did y'all see that hat I had on the other day? At the, at the, at the press conference? No. Y'all didn't see it? Go back and look at it. What was it? Go back and look at it. That's what I just said. Marcus, thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks, brother.